my entitled best friend used me as bait for her crush, so I started dating him. When I was about a year out of high school, I started working at a restaurant in a much wealthier community than the working class one I had grown up in. I started as a hostess, then got promoted to wait staff. After a while, I started to bond with this girl, Gretchen, who was a hostess. She relied on me to vent to and to share all of her troubles with her. Parents were not nice, only caring about money and social status. I also started hearing about how she was having trouble with infighting and backstabbing among this friend group, many of whom also worked at this restaurant. The restaurant was a place where a lot of young people from the area hung out. I felt bad for her, but I also enjoyed her sense of humor and intellect, and we shared a lot of similar tastes in music and style, so she and I became good friends. At one point she introduced me to this guy Chris that she knew. He and I instantly had chemistry and I could tell he was very into me. He started coming around the restaurant a lot, sitting in my section, and one day when Gretchen wasn't there, he asked for my number. It felt like the friends I had always wanted were finally coming together. My life was about to launch. All of these people lived in their parents, giant opulent mansions in this very upscale town driving luxury cars their parents gave them while I would slink back to my broken down Lota that I park in a hidden spot and drive to my family's tiny house in the working class town with its broken down pickup trucks on cement blocks in people's yards. Feeling like an alien in both worlds. I was slightly older than some of my new friends, being a year out of high school while most of them had just graduated, but felt worlds less sophisticated than they appeared to be. Anyway, I didn't really understand why she was so eager to introduce us. Why didn't she want him for herself? He was very cute. It was only later, in retrospect, that I looked back on the way she introduced us and realized she was using me to bait him to come around the restaurant. So he and I started to hook up. I didn't get why he wanted to be so secret about it at first, but I'll admit that he was about 10 times hotter than any guy I ever dated, and I let myself get swept up into a mostly physical relationship. He asked me not to tell Gretchen because he could tell she was into him, although I thought that was silly as she had introduced us so obviously if she had ever had any romantic feelings for him, she was over it, but I reluctantly agreed not my proudest moment. Gretchen and I began to hang out more and more and became BFFs. We began to spend every free moment together. My secret hooking up with Chris felt more and more deceitful and I cooled it down with him a little. But I was young and didn't know how to handle this situation and I'm sure I did everything wrong. I thought that I was beginning to fall in love with Chris but didn't like being a secret hookup, so just sort of let it continue half and in secret. I'll admit this wasn't smart or good. After a while, I got a job in another restaurant as there was too much drama at that restaurant and I could make more money at this new place and wanted to go to college, but I continued to hang out with the people I met through the first restaurant. Gretchen and I went Christmas shopping together one day at the mall and took a break to eat lunch. That's when I accidentally got a glimpse of her Christmas present shopping list as she checked it off. She had high dollar values listed next to the names of all of these high status people that I suddenly realized she was desperately trying to become good friends with $100 here, $200 there, and then there was my name, supposedly her best friend with $5 listed next to it. It instantly made my heart sink. I don't care about expensive gifts, but it made me realize how little she valued me with them. Actuals to prove it. Nobody owes me anything, but I had already spent over $50 for her Christmas gift and I felt like a schmuck, realizing that we weren't actually best friends and she saw me as someone to spend time with until better people came along. Among the names of her high-value people that she was desperate to become friends with, that she was willing to spend all of her parents' money to try to win over was Chris, the guy that she introduced me to that I was now seeing. She had $200 next to his name. At first, I didn't think much about it, but I definitely wasn't expecting what she was going to do next. I wish I wouldn't have ignored the signs. Later that day after the shopping, we jumped in her Lamborghini and drove to the place I used to work and coincidentally we dated Chris. The whole ride to the place was very awkward, but it was even more awkward confronting my boyfriend about why he was meeting up with Gretchen. He said that she wouldn't stop bothering him and said that she wanted to give him a tiny surprise after she gave him a brand new PS5, I was absolutely shocked. This is when I remembered she had no clue that I was with Chris. I decided to just put on a smile and wait until the party was over. And then I started questioning Gretchen. I started asking her if she liked Chris. She began to tell me how much she was in love with Chris, that she was sure he was her soulmate, that she thought about him every day, all day. If she had said even a fraction of this to me when she introduced him to me, there's no way I would have hooked up with him. I suddenly felt all kinds of emotions swirling around at once. Why had she withheld this information from me and why was she telling me this now? I began to realize she had been using me to keep him around. Then she started going on and on about how she spent all night on the phone with him the night before, which I knew was a lie because he was with me. I sat there seething and beginning to hate her and finally interrupted her to say none of that was true. He wasn't on the phone with you last night. She had this look on her face that I will never forget. Instant knowing and aware that I not only caught her in her fantasy land delusional lie but also knew why I knew what he did the night before. She just sat there looking into my face and me looking back at her. I told her all about his magnificent body and how he satisfied me. I relished the look of hate and betrayal that had come over her face. I gave it right back to her. You could tell that she never expected little stupid trashing me to betray her in this way. I was just supposed to be her lap dog, always there for her, but with no needs or wants of my own friendship. Over. She told everyone from the restaurant about what an evil backstabbing beach and a man stealing WHRE I was, and all of my friends from that job stopped contacting me.